Nah, you got this. As long as the body <laughs> survives. Ike, what's up, man? Oh, hey, man, I just got back from the Ford factory. What are we uh, making today? I got our new Bronco, man. A new Bronco looks a little small. Oh, it's, that'll be fine. That's right, we are finally hopping on the Power Wheels train started by the guys at Grind Hard Plumbing. We are doing a Ford Bronco 4x4 straight axle uh, with a built 228 engine. So, I am joined by my buddy Kevin, surprise, it's not Ike, from the surprise. channel Junkyard Digs. Yeah, Ike isn't this fat. Thanks for the pants, by the way, <laughs> Ike. Don't tell him. So, <laughs> Ike is showing up later today, so in the meantime, Kevin and I are going to unbox the Bronco here, put it together, and we got to do some baseline testing around the Grand Prix, maybe some rock crawling, because that's what this build is going to be all about, that slow, mudding, rock crawling type deal. Solid Bro, axle, it's baby. It's a Bronco, baby. Exactly. Let's do it. So let's open it up. It's like pulling back the tarp on what's been sitting in the garage for 30 years. That's got to be one of the smallest uh, production power wheels right there, dude. Yeah, <laughs> the smallest day one. But it's a Bronco, bro. <laughs> look at them. What are these, 13s? Nice. Let's get a look at the cabin space. How are you going to... How are we gonna fit? Yeah, how would you ever? We decided we would buy it and then figure that out later. <laughs> that's we made thinking, it work with a cozy coop. That's some thinking I can get behind. Yeah. Look at that battery, wow. It has hubcaps. Dude, I thought I got the real wheels options on this thing. What is that? All right. So I am the shortest person that's part of the charade. Whoo, that's broken already. <laughs> How are you supposed to sit on that? I don't know. We're probably not supposed to sit on it. Will it do a wheelie? Oh, no doubt it'll do a wheelie. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. So a lot of this is going to get gone, and we got to build a frame around it. We might have to do some massaging of the body so we can fit. But, I mean, my sides, i got plenty of room right there. I don't know about you. But, no, uh, my love handles get stuck. I think we can make this work. Here, you want to try it? Oh my god. <laughs> I fit in this better than the cross cart. <laughs> my knees have somewhere to go finally. Oh, uh, let's assemble this thing. Yeah. We got the power wheels together. Kevin, thanks for the help on that, bud. Um, this thing is incredibly dinky. Like we're talking, it'll fit a toddler and that's probably about it. So, like, is that the on switch? Does it always make that noise? Yeah, it started. It's also a one wheel peel. Yeah. So, <laughs> we this might thing... need to weld the diff, bro. Dude, check this out. These turn signals are... Those, that's probably forward reverse. Oh, it's got a battery, battery indicator, indicator on it. This thing is nice. I mean, we have a MP3. What? That's an actual radio. Yeah. This has more working features than most of my vehicles. <laughs> and we... Headlights? They hardly do anything but headlights. Wow. This was like 159 bucks well spent. Power Wheels have come a long way since I had one when I was three. That was like the carbureted edition of Power Wheels. It had a battery, yeah. an on-off switch for the battery direction, and away you went. Let's go break the crap out of it. Yeah. All right, so the seat is supposed to go somewhere in here. There's no way that we're gonna be able to fit, so it's just- We might want the seat bottom half to not let our butts go through the battery. Right, that's true. Oh, it just sits in there. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. You should, you should put the back on to see if you still fit in it. Yeah, if John can't fit, then no adult can fit. Oh, I love how light it is. It's a joke. Can you open the uh, pod bay doors? I don't think it'll climb the hill. <laughs> <laughs> is it dead? No, it said it had full battery. Yeah, dude, it's just that weak. Well, should we pull it back in and put a car battery in it? Do you think we can? I 
I'm a wizard with electrical. <laughs> well, it's still running, so that's good. <laughs> Let's do a let's do a car battery swap and solid rear axle. Yeah. Before we completely take apart this power wheels and build a tube frame for it and all kinds of stuff, we're gonna try to overvolt it. So it's a six volt system. Kevin's gonna rig up a car battery, 12 volt, and we're gonna see if we can get some more power out of this thing. We're also gonna make it a live axle and see if we can do some uh, do some off roading before we get into the actual build. Hmm. Might have to do it on the inside. So what we have here is piece of flat bar from our remote control go-kart we're gonna repurpose slide it on the axle and then bolt it to the wheel so we have posi traction <laughs> just open up the hole slide over the axle let's see if it fits winner winner it's like you guys have done this before or something so we just need to tack weld it and then self-tapping screws or something right yeah screw bolts we don't have any self-tapping screws we got those um lag bolts Doing my best to not damage this grill. We gotta get it out to get our hood open. Oh, I said doing my best. I didn't say my best was very good. Hey, there we go. Be cautious of the lights. Yep, we have four screws. No way she goes. Most cars of this era, the hood latch was behind the grill, so this is only appropriate. Right. Oh, look, a bunch of wiring. You mean there's not a 302 under there? No, afraid not. Lots of room to put a car battery though, so that's good. Probably not the right screws, we'll see. <laughs> Why didn't they just make it open? That would've been fun. Yeah. Was that the $180 option? Probably. No. no. That extra $2 of development cost really, uh... The XLT trim package has the <laughs> opening hood. It looks like the dash has to roll back. And then, oh, it's happening. Ta da! It's just that easy. Yeah, now we just throw a car battery in there, and yep. strap it down, and away we go. What could go wrong? It's going to be interesting. We're going to try to put a 228 in that thing. It's not as much space as I thought, but imagine we can cut some of this out. We can do something else with the steering. Imagine you'll just have this all the way around, yep. right? That's the plan. This tub. Well, we're going to deal with that another day. <laughs> yeah. That's future John's problems. <laughs> Got her. I know what color this uh, Bronco is now. The what? I know what color this truck is now. It's welder blue. Welder blue. This is definitely exactly what they had in mind when they built this thing. Absolutely. A little bit of finesse. I drilled the holes, so they're going to be wildly incorrect. I mean, if I would just wait five minutes, this would be so much easier because I'm just trying not to get burned. I got it. Yeah, we can get it the rest of the way with the net. Sweet. All right, let's bolt that on. So we're ready for the first road test. We're gonna see if it can climb this hill. Oh, sounds like Ike's here. Oh, that's not Ike. Hey. It's Chris. Finally here. What's up, man? How's it going? Good, I heard you uh, brought a Power Wheels. Yes. You think you'd give me a tow? Yeah, you wanna tow with that thing? Maybe like two miles an hour if it can go that slow. <laughs> Maybe, we'll find out. I'll try it, let me grab it. We can do it. We got some speed now. Are you uh, sure you want to do it? I'm going to have to pass on a toe on that one, dude. Are you sure? Yeah. I think it'd be fun. Just put on a For helmet. you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So we got to do some before and after testing with this project. So since rock crawling is an important part of this build, we figured we'd start with a stock rock crawl. So I'm thinking I'll approach straight and then hang a hard right and hit those rocks there. This is going to destroy it, dude. 
Nah, you got this. As long as the body <laughs> survives. Put it in reverse. <laughs> Put it in reverse, dang. All right. This is not gonna go. Ike's gonna be mad, dude. He's gonna show up, and I'm gonna need to buy him a new power wheels already. Oh, there's no. Dude, I'm gonna go over forward. This is what's gonna happen. Nah, you got this. That's like full throttle. All right. Hail. All right. It's about tip over forward. Get the winch, winch it out. Need a push? I don't. A light push? That's all right, man. He has a lost car. All right, so this isn't working. Kevin had a great idea. We have a 12 volt car battery sitting around. This is a six volt system. So let's see if we can go for the moon. It'll either be fast or we'll just pop the motor and hopefully don't start a fire. Fast or on fire, my favorite two options. Yeah. So the real Ike is finally here. What's up, man? Are you sure you're not Ike's twin brother? What? <laughs> and we already know that that roll tube has to go in order for us to fit in it. Oh, that's so much better. I think we can work with that, dude, especially me. Wait a minute, I thought we had to widen this thing. I thought we had to, too. You good? You fit, clearly. Dude, I'm good. So now that we know the body we're gonna be using for this build, it's time to take a look at our hardware. Go Power Sports sent us a big care package uh, to help us accomplish this build. So let's dig into it. Sounds good. See how dinky that uh, motor is on this thing? It's tiny, yeah. Like, that's like the tiniest motor I've ever seen. No wonder this thing won't move you around. Yeah, look at the battery too, man. So. That's the battery? Yeah. It's straight up the battery. I thought that was a control unit or no, something. That's, that's all we got, bud. Oh my gosh. So I can't wait to get into Go Power Sports stuff because it's always like Christmas. Interesting. Polished aluminum ones in the future. Uh huh. But you know, I figured some good old Steelies might be a good way to start us out. This kind of reminds me of the old uh, uh, Bigfoots. The Bigfoot wheels yeah. back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of like them. Good choice, dude. Good choice. We've never had this style up here. All right, so we have some uh, disc brakes here. Awesome. Some more rims. Stickers. Stickers. Can't forget the stickers. Man, we ought to uh, sticker bomb this thing when it's done. Yeah. It's Christmas time. By the time this video comes out, it's going to be pretty darn close to my birthday. Yes, indeed. So happy early birthday, man. Thank you. You know, I'd like to uh, go ahead and talk about what I want for uh, my birthday. What's that? I want the Corona gone. Me too, bud. Me too. The Super 30, so I believe that's the 30 series torque converter that comes with the Juggernaut driver. Okay. Yes, indeed. Steering. Steering shaft with the uh, Universal. A reverse kit. Excellent. Which would be nice on this build. <laughs> oh, man, yes. Engine plates. I'm glad they thought of it before you. Yeah. Steering wheel. Steering wheel. We can always use steering wheel. Steering rack. Rack and pinion. Or just rack, yep. Steering components. Well. I don't know if that one's going to work, man. That's a big haul. Oh! <laughs> um, is that going to look silly? I think it might look a little silly, dude, when your seat back goes above the, the windshield. Uh, I gotta sit in it real quick, man. Sure, man. Do it. It's pretty comfy. I'm already loving the look of this build, man. Okay. It's a whole lot easier when the body work is done for you. Oh, I'm digging those. And, you know, as lightweight as we're gonna be making this thing... I don't think these are going to be too small. I mean, yeah. these are probably going to be perfect for us. Yep. We can always give them an angle so we can get some more travel out of them, too. Yep. So I think the goal here 
should be let's make this thing as light as possible let's make the power to weight power to weight ratio pretty good so lightweight and we're gonna go for something like a 228 yeah man lightweight 20 20 24 horsepower something like that um, I want to make it so two people can easily put it in the back of a pickup truck I think that would be ideal man what's the point in having something that small if you can't pick it up yeah lightweight another steering wheel all right so front hubs rear hubs more hubs ah lug nuts uh this is going to be a sprocket hub there's your sprocket hub sprocket hub sprocket hub Ooh, some nice new chain oh look at all that 420 chain thanks nice guys. another steering wheel some more lug nuts. We put those wheels on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Some sprockets. Good. Good. Nice heavy duty looking thick. Oh, the 420 split sprockets. Yes. Those are awesome. Yes. Uh, that looks like another sprocket. Oh, that's a brake. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's nice. And last thing here. More split sprockets. Different size. A lot smaller. Cool. We have all these awesome looking parts laid out in front of us here. And at this point, we need to do some planning, figure out how we need to build the chassis. Um, and also if we're going to use CV joints or universal joints, universal joints, right? So we were thinking of kind of building a chassis so that it follows the body lines of the Bronco. But the whole goal of this build is to make a capable rock crawler that is very lightweight because we are using a 228cc engine. We put it on a mini bike a few months ago. It's lightweight. It is very potent for its size. It's very compact. It should be great for this little, tiny uh, Bronco body. I'm really looking forward to getting into this build, but I'm also ready to get done with this build. Can't wait. Two epic projects. Coming together. Coming together. So. And we're trying to get this ready for the uh, overlanding trip, which I'm kind of thinking that we're, we don't have enough time. Yeah, that's right. But so fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Yeah, so the whole reason we are starting this build now before we finish the trophy cart is the Grindhard Plumbing guys invited us uh, to an overlanding trip with Power Wheels uh, powered go-karts. And we were like, sweet, we have three weeks. Let's try to get this done. <laughs> and so, so we are going to be really working on the Power Wheels uh, until we either make it or don't make it on that trip. <laughs> Woo! Three weeks is not a lot of time, John. Not a lot of time. Not a lot of time. Yep. Three weeks is really not a lot of time to pull off a whole big new project like this. But it is compact. It is small. And who We're needs sleep for three weeks? Huh? I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so check us out in between videos on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews for sneak peeks on what we are up to. We have new merchandise on our website. Uh, check it out at cars-cameras.com. Pick something up and help support our channel as well, like our new hat. Send it, bend it, mend it, and then do it again. Because, you know, if you're anything like us, that's kind of your life. Um, GoPowerSports.com. Can't thank them enough for hooking us up with all of these beautiful parts we're going to be using on this project. Uh, whenever you're buying parts on the website, let them know uh, at checkout that Cars and Cameras sent you. Ike. Yeah, guys. Check me out. Isaac will be fine. All right. Let's get to figuring, man, and we'll see you guys next time. It was either horse jockey or this stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm getting chased by a mud dauber. Hang on. Jesus. Okay, well now he's, he's angry. These southern ones have a short temper. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Now he's still buzzing around 110. Mach 12. Oh, he knows it's coming now.